Hey, hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go ahead and tap in with spirit. Get this tea for y'all real quick. See what's really going on in this general collective energy. Because I clearly heard somebody need to check their family. I don't know what's going on here, but I clearly heard somebody need to check their family when it comes to y'all's relationship. But anywho, fam, take what resonates and leave, I uh, see, 3-3. Three, uh, three, three. So somebody could be around the ages of 33, or there is a conversation that needs to definitely needs to be had. But yeah, take what resonates, fam, and leave the rest, please. Also, the messages are always timeless. So whenever you do come across the message, fam, that's exactly when spirit has it for you. To so all the subscribers and members of the channel, I thank y'all so, so much for rocking and rolling with me. Woo! I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Even if you're not subscribed, fam, or a member of the channel, I thank y'all so, so much for just coming and viewing the message, spending some of your time with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you. But let's get into this. I hope y'all are doing well wherever y'all are in this crazy, crazy ass world, fam. But yeah, let's get into this. Also, fam, if the message resonates, please hit the like button for me. And if you are subscribed, please turn on your notification bell, fam. So you'll be notified when I do upload. I see 144. But let's get into this. Yeah, some of y'all, I feel like y'all really not bothered by the situation. I feel like y'all just chilling, sitting around, you know, drinking glasses of wine or something like that. Just chilling. Yeah, because it's on somebody else to fix this situation between you and them. It's not on you. Yeah, somebody is supposed to come towards y'all and I'm here and speak up. Yeah. So it's not on you to fix whatever this is. I don't even feel like I got to tell y'all that. But yeah, somebody need to hear. Yeah, we got deception right here in Mysterious Ship. If you wondering why somebody start acting or moving a certain way with you, it's because family members or people that they consider, you know, important in their lives, they done got in this person ear about something. Yeah, no discipline right here. Somebody is telling somebody that you and them aren't married or something like that. You know, they should be able to be free to do whatever it is they want to do. Let's say that you and this person have a system where y'all check in or something. Or y'all sharing y'all location. It's just somebody out here that's hating. Yeah, and unfortunately, your person is kind of like listening to them. Yeah, we got self-sabotage right there. They're kind of listening to them. It's kind of like they feel like they got to prove themselves to somebody. I'm hearing Adrian. Somebody's name could be Tim or Timothy. Amir. Keith. Holy Spirit. What's the message here for my fam? What's the message? What's going on here with this person and this, and this family? What's going on here with this person and this family? Holy Spirit. Yeah, we got tunnel vision right here. So this is telling me that this person right here, they're raised a certain way. It's somebody in this person's family that uh, does not approve of y'all's relationship. This is looking to be like a mother figure. Yeah. somebody. I heard somebody also telling somebody that they're too young to settle down or something like this. Yeah, that they haven't even really lived their life. Something is significant about cornbread as well. Holy Spirit. I heard Donna. Yeah, we got insecurity right here. See, this is what this is. It's like somebody right here. It's like somebody don't want somebody to leave a nest and grow up or something like that. Also, somebody could be trying to send monitoring spirits to y'all's home. Cleanse your home if you can. Open up the doors and the windows and usher that spirit right on out the door or out the window, honey. Just out your home, period. Yeah. Mm. This is also somebody trying to, yeah, we get no boundaries right here. It's somebody trying to get information about what goes on behind closed doors 
between you and another person right here. So this is like somebody interrogating somebody or somebody coming to your home to be nosy as fuck. Or something like that. Or like I said, uh, those monitoring spirits. Yeah, we get mysterious shift right here. Yeah, we get avoidance and we get addiction. Somebody right here also, if the person that you're dealing with, I'm telling you, they start moving different. It's also somebody in their family that's doing some type of energetic work on them. So I'm hearing something about a tall glass of wine. So before you, it's like somebody right here had a wandering eye. Or it's like they were like uh, not the committal type, you know, something like that. Not wanting to get into a relationship. And if they were in a relationship, they were being very much so deceitful. But with you, it's like somebody right here, all they do is come to the house. Yeah, if they're going to have a drink, they're going to have a drink at home. It's also some of these people, friends, that's... It's a lot of people hating on y'all's relationship because this person right here wants to, you know, like do right by you or some shit like that. Yeah. It's like somebody is trying to blind this person to who you actually are. Because I see some of y'all are homebodies right here. That's the kind of, you, I'm hearing the kind of woman that somebody is always wanting. But how they want that when they always meeting these people when they in the streets? Yeah, somebody here is, I feel like they're acting different. Yeah, resisting change right here. It's like somebody going back to their old ways or something like that. And it's because there's, yeah, look, anger right here and lack of empathy manipulative there's somebody right here doing some type of energetic work on this person to bring up uh not so good memories from their past something that this person has yet to talk to you about but it's like whenever they get in whenever they start thinking about this it's like this person starts to pull away it really feels like you were uh making a breakthrough with this person possibly you know like breaking down their walls or something like that yeah, this person was actually about to open up to you and then somebody did something that closed them off again. Yeah, this person could be like acting like really irritated. They could be um, overindulging or something like that. It's somebody in this person's family doing energetic work on them. Others of y'all, it's just somebody out here and it's like they keep trying to get this person to look at this person, look at that person, uh, do this and do that. Yeah, when the, when your person is around whomever these family members or friends are, I'm not going to lie to you. They have a really hard time not engaging in whatever this temptation is. Like, it's like a part of them, they want to be, you know, it's calling me to come back to the streets. Yeah, that type of energy right there. But it's like this person right here, they keep trying to resist and resist and resist. Yeah. But you know, we all have eyes and we gonna look, but it's like somebody they see the person that somebody trying to get them to look at, but it ain't like they just gawking at them or no shit like that. Yeah, we got entitled right here. Somebody does not like the fact that they feel like you come in and taking their spot, whether this is somebody's mother, whether this is somebody's brother, somebody's cousin, their friend, their sister. Who they fuck they daddy. I don't know. But it feels like somebody right here, they're very much so in their feelings because they feel like you're you're taking their spot. Yeah. This is similar to the reading that's uploading right now, but that one over there, that's just a whole bunch of craziness. This one right here, it's a little bit more tame. Yeah. Somebody just cannot accept the fact that somebody right here, they don't want to be for the streets. They don't want to oh, they don't want to indulge. Although I'm I'm going to tell you now. Some uh, like I told you, somebody right here it's like they got one foot in and one foot out. I'm trying to tell you. Also, I'm going to tell y'all something else. Somebody did cheat. And this person feels really really bad about it. 
Yeah, they let somebody talk them into cheating. So this person is feeling really bad about it. That's why somebody right now, they it's like they're avoiding eye contact with you. Some of them, it's like you're very empathic. So it's like some of them trying their best to stay away from you or something like that as well. Because it's like somebody right here, they know that if you find out that they cheated, it's like their gift is gone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Somebody is really in their feelings. Like, I, you know what? But the thing is, were they in their feelings when they were cheating on you? You know what I'm saying? Somebody right here, they, they could blame it on the alcohol because I do see somebody drinking a lot right here. Yeah, whomever these friends or family members are, they this person right here, they have to open their eyes and understand that these people really don't have their greater good at heart. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we got intolerance right here. Somebody really does not like you. Like, seriously. Because you're helping this person grow and evolve. Yeah. Because if somebody, like, in the past, if they cheated on somebody or, you know, whatever the heck, they had no feelings about it. It was like they could watch somebody cry and it's like it wouldn't have any effect on them. Seeing you cry really does something to this person. It's like they can't stand to see you cry. Although somebody here has done something that they really do need to come clean about. Yeah, we get shame and guilt right here. I'm telling y'all what it is that I know and manipulative. Somebody is really feeling remorseful. They're feeling shame. They're feeling guilt because they cheated. Also, it's like somebody right here, you and this person, Spirit is saying y'all could be in separation because they will not stand up and tell their family what it is and what it isn't. They won't stand up and be, you know, like tell these friends or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Somebody could be, you know, one way with you and then another way with these other people. And it's like, look, you got to pick a side because it's like it's giving false. It's giving fugazi. So let's see here. Yeah, y'all have really helped somebody grow. It's like mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, this person is opening up. Like you're reactivating somebody's heart chakra. It's something here about this person. It's like they're over, they're thinking over and over what it is that they did, like the consequences of their actions and things like this. With the, you know, they always say uh, crying is cleansing. Somebody here, they do want to come clean with you. But it's like they're going through every scenario, you know, in their mind of what can happen if they tell you what it is that they've done. That's for the ones that have cheated. That's why somebody, I'm telling you, somebody, it's like they look past you or it's like they look straight ahead. Like, yeah, they can't look you directly in your eyes here. Yeah, but this person, whomever they are, they really feel bad. Holy Spirit. Can I get three more cards from this deck, please? Thank you. Yeah, we get arrogance right here. I just heard because I'm not that person anymore. So somebody, I'm telling you, it's like they uh, went backwards. And they really feel in some type of way about the fact that they um, did this or they allow somebody to talk them into this. Yeah, we get toxic right here. Holy Spirit. Yeah, we got feeling lost. Somebody smells really, really good. I mean, damn, this, this, if this is a male, he smells so damn good. And it's like it's intoxicating. Yeah. Yeah, this is also somebody's father because I'm hearing something about a chip off the old block. Somebody's father really has like this resentment towards you or something like that because their daughter or son, take the energy how it resonates. It's like they only see you. The things that you like, the, their free time is spent with you and things like this. Somebody sees that their child or whomever this is, they see that this person has real emotions for you. It's like uh, 
an awakening happening in this person right now. It's like this person is really trying to break free of toxic, arrogant ways or something like that. But the people that they are around keeps dragging them back into it. So this person has to realize in order for them to continue to grow as a person, as well as like a partner with you, these people have to be let go of. Yeah, you and this person, y'all can have a lot of arguments about these people and they really try to defend these people. Yeah. Somebody was there for somebody when nobody else was. But the thing is, I feel like whomever that was, they used as, as an excuse to kind of like manipulate and control this person. Like, you know, I was there for you when, you know, such and such and such and such. And who else was there? Things like that. They really use that to their advantage. And how can that be uh, genuine if somebody would actually do that? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, resentment as I cut the deck. I'm telling y'all, it's somebody out here that really resents y'all. Whether this is this person's father figure or, you know, a family member, a friend, something like that. I'm seeing somebody right here play basketball. Yeah, somebody sitting at home watching Lifetime movies and shit. Yeah, somebody else is a female and it's, I don't know, but it's something about sitting home and watching sports with your man or something like that. Yeah, and I'm here enjoying every minute of it. It's just like somebody really feels neglected. And so they doing all kind of stuff energetically they're talking they're putting shit in this person's ear and all kind of stuff it's a lot coming out in this message right here yeah how is it yeah we got the six of swords to the three of wands that's what i'm saying somebody right here it's like somebody might go somewhere but they coming right back to the house and if they go somewhere nine times out of ten, if this is resonating with you, you're right there with them. Somebody here, they I'm hearing Veronica, or somebody's name is also Vanessa, but somebody feels like uh, you're very controlling. When that's not even the case, somebody wants you right there with them. Yeah. Somebody right here, I don't know why they feel like so you're you're a bad influence on somebody or something like that. It's also some gift that somebody it's somebody fake here because it's like you give this person a gift, but they really just have like this snobbish ass attitude. So why take your damn gift? Give it back. <laughs> somebody also, I don't know what this is about somebody complaining about either someone's cologne or perfume messing with their allergies or something it's like somebody just complaining because they're jealous and they're being hateful and spiteful and shit like that man. yeah but honestly it's like this person has to understand yeah that they're creating a whole situation here that they don't even they don't realize because they have tunnel vision they don't understand that they're they're creating an environment for somebody to want to get the heck away from them permanently. Yeah. Somebody is tired of this person. Um, it feels like acting out. <laughs> yeah. So I don't care if this is somebody's mother or father or whomever it is. They have to understand that their child or brother, sister, friend, whomever is getting ready to break away because they absolutely cannot take what it is that this person is doing. And I'm telling y'all, somebody is doing something energetically. Somebody is being enlightened to this. So y'all are um y'all are teaching people more about spirituality than you realize. Y'all feel like this person is not listening and yes they are. That's another thing somebody needs to realize. The way that they handle situations when y'all go through it, somebody tends to put up their defenses. It's like a mask or something. They act like they're cool, they don't care, and things like that when this person really does. Some of the things that y'all say to these people, they're really getting to them. You're hitting them right in their heart. 
So that's why y'all are waking this person up. Like you're unfreezing their heart. Like that ice box is melting. So yeah, that's something y'all need to realize as well. This person, it ain't going in one ear and out the other. It's sticking with them. They think about it all the time. Somebody right here, they don't like for you to call them on their shit because it's like the way that you um, speak to them. I don't really feel like it's a... Some of y'all, it can get a little, you know... It could be like a raw. But others of y'all, it's coming from a very loving space and this person knows that. And they hate for you to talk to them about certain things because it does trigger them emotionally. So somebody, they definitely know that they messing up here. They don't want to lose you. They don't want to let you go. Things like this. Somebody feels like y'all live like this extravagant lifestyle. And for some reason, this person is supporting it. I feel like, hell no, they're not. Yeah, look, five of wands right here to the magician. It's some. I'm telling you, it's somebody. It came out previously. Some of y'all are seriously earth angels. That sound like a uh, king in there, child, my best friend. But yeah, somebody right here, you're a real earth angel. And you're sent to wake this person up. It came up before. Yeah. I just heard somebody say they, they've resisted long enough. Somebody can't resist anymore. So, yeah, something here is about to change, and I feel like it's drastic as well. Holy Spirit. Hmm. Damn, somebody feel, they feel terrible for what they did. Somebody right here, I don't know if you, I don't know, because I just heard something about somebody liking big girls. Like, somebody could like BBW women, and I don't know if y'all used to be BBW, you lost weight or something. Or it's like, I don't know what's going on, but it seems to be like a shorter person with like a, a bigger person, or a smaller person with a bigger person. Take the energy how it resonates. Somebody right here also. Oh my goodness. I cannot. Y'all, we talking about somebody cheating, so we might as well go on and get into it. Somebody right here, they regret cheating on you, plus it was terrible. It was like somebody was like throwing a hot dog down the hallway. Somebody had no walls at all. Yeah. And also, it's like neither one of them enjoyed it. Because somebody had no walls and then somebody's complaining about how small somebody's penis is. Yeah. So, yeah, that's 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 pretty much, yeah, look, the Leo energy, the sun card right here. So the nine of wands. Mm. It's like somebody know that y'all possibly been through that before being cheated on. Yeah. And they don't, somebody was drunk. But hey, that's still no excuse. But, um, <clears throat> what was I finna say? Yeah, somebody, you possibly told somebody your story and they did it to you anyway. So this is also somebody trying to figure out how to tell you this or whether to keep it to themselves. Because I'm telling you, somebody don't want to lose you. But at the same time, you're very empathic. Somebody tries to stay away from y'all because they feel like you can read their mind. So it's like, even if they don't tell you, if they come around you, you're automatically going to know. Because it's like your energy, it's like it picks up on things like that. Hey. Yeah. Trying to figure that. All right, be careful. I'll be through here tomorrow before I go to work. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's like when somebody comes around you with some deception, it disturbs your energy. And it's like, you, yeah. <laughs> and then for somebody to try to play in your face, I see like the arrogance right here. So that's why somebody get that part of you that they really don't like, that you, you know, your tongue, when you go, man, I'll get the going, you hit them right in their heart. Yeah, because it's like, don't try to come and play in no, uh, no empress or no high priest or no high priestess face. Just don't do it. Yeah, playing around in the empress face. See what I'm talking about? 
playing with the Empress. Don't do it. That's why I'm telling you. I'm, that's why somebody try to, if y'all live together, somebody act like they really busy. Or I got to go here. I got to be there. I got to do this at a certain time. Yeah, things like that. This person right here trying to avoid your ass. Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we got the six of wands right here. Yeah, we got victory. We got success. Somebody right here, it's like they feel like y'all got a good thing going if this is your energy. So they don't want to mess it up. Somebody also, don't ever get it twisted. Yeah, Virgo, Aquarius energy. They re they recognize what it is that they do wrong in this, in this situation. They try to act like they don't, you know, it's not bothering them or something like that, but it does. Yeah, we got the Six of Pentacles right here. Somebody is telling this person to tell you and other people are telling this person, heck nah, leave it alone. Yeah. It's like, why would you try, why would you, uh, fix something that's not broken? So somebody is, see, that's what I'm saying. These friends that they're around, they still giving them real messed up advice. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, we get the three of wands right here. But it's like, <laughs> I'm, this foresight. Yeah. Somebody is really trying to ignore y'all. Like, see, they're trying to do everything in their power to not come around you or look you in your eyes or something like that. But it's weird because this person right here, they want to be with you. Yeah, the king of swords right here. Somebody's giving this person advice to keep their distance from you, to not tell you something. Yeah, and if this person is listening, and it's causing even more, it's causing more and more turmoil within this person. Somebody right here. Yeah, we got the six of swords right here. Somebody is waiting for y'all to calm down. Yeah, we get the six of cups right here. Before they come back around. Jarvis. That's a college as well, yeah. Somebody's name could be Jarvis or somebody here went to that college. Yeah, we get the Ten of Swords right here to the Seven of Pentacles to the Magician. Somebody right here that dug. What in the world is somebody out here doing? Why are they always trying to dig up something <clears throat> and plant something over something and whatever the hell? I don't see what the heck they trying to do because it ain't doing nothing but making you more fruitful and multiplied. Yeah. Somebody is finna find out that they're pregnant. And this is really gonna hurt the hell out of somebody but they gonna feel really betrayed because somebody really don't want you and somebody together. Yeah, we got the devil right here. Somebody's doing black magic. Also, I feel like somebody's trying to harvest some energy from children. This is nice. Yeah, we got the fool right here. Somebody here, they're doing something to make this person want to run back to the streets, have a wondering eye, dibble and dabble in karmic activity, things like that. Also, it will end between you and them. Somebody right here, they're trying their damnedest to fight this. But the way that they really need to fight it is by distancing themselves completely from this person. 
Like, seriously, somebody needs to keep distance. I don't know who this is, but they need to keep their children away. They need to stay away. Because somebody here, their family is into dark magic. Yeah, this is energy harvesting, but this is children. That's why, you know what, if some of y'all got children with this person, I see why y'all don't go around their families a lot. Because it's like your spidey senses kick in, yeah. But I'm just here to tell y'all, it's not just y'all if that's resonating. If you have children out here with this person, their family also tries to harvest the energy from y'all's children. Yeah, the ones y'all have together. If you have children outside of this person, that though they don't they don't mess with those children. It's the ones that y'all have together that they try to harvest the energy from. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Your light irritates these people's darkness. For real. So that's what it is. You're, it's like, I don't know who these people are, but you're, you're completely changing one of them. And it's like with that one person, it's like change is inevitable for everybody. Yeah, because I'm telling you, it's something about children out here. And it's, it's energy harvesting of children. I'm just, I'm just telling you what I know. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, that's the only way that somebody right here. <clears throat> yeah, we got the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, to the Page of Pentacles. It's like somebody stuck between you and a mother figure. But this mother figure out here is on some bullshit. <clears throat> yeah. Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person's own family is doing magic on them to keep y'all apart. Five of Swords to the Page of Pentacles. Also, this is somebody right here who purposely got somebody too drunk. So this person couldn't come home. So it's I'm telling you, it's somebody out here, they family and friends are doing everything under the sun to make sure that y'all uh, split up or don't come back together or something like that. Yeah. There's dark magic here. There's people out here doing shit like purposely little petty shit. Yeah, this is somebody. It's I don't know what this person is doing, but I don't. Did they? It's like they're purposely leaving somebody alone with somebody else. It's like they're creating this this atmosphere for something to happen between this person and somebody else, and they're purposely doing it with the intent of hurting you. That's crazy. Somebody right here also. I, I don't I want to know what the hell it is they did. Because they did something where this person couldn't come home. Some of y'all it's like continuously giving this person drink after drink after drink after drink. Or this is something about pills. Yeah, somebody right here, they better quit taking them pills because y'all know what the fuck is in it. And I'm seeing somebody right here, they done pressed some pills and they got some, some stuff in them. So somebody might want to steer clear of pills. Toxic right here, yeah. Something right here, it ain't, it, it ain't just uh, what you think you're taking. It got that, that, that thing, it got that stuff in it. Yeah, we got justice right here, Libra energy. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody better stay away from these friends and shit because they ultimately gonna get them caught up in some type of court case or caught up with the law in some type of way. And yeah, because I see somebody having to pay probation all the damn time. Yeah, somebody friends or whomever this is, they not, mm -mm, I wouldn't fucks with them. Yeah, Libra, Capricorn, Gemini, Aries. Oh, 
Yeah, something here is about some keys as well. Like somebody takes somebody keys or something, and then they won't give them back to them. But if this person is drunk or under the influence, I completely understand. But it's like, damn, they could at least told you or took, you know, that somebody was too drunk or something to drive or, you know, something like that. Yeah, they could have gave you, they could have relayed some type of goddamn message to somebody. They could have said something. I'm scared. But these people, they just doing too much. <clears throat> yeah, that's too much. I knew it. Yeah, the death card is out here. Somebody right here been even doing some shit with graveyard dirt. Yeah, somebody right here, they do shit with graveyard dirt. This could be like the paternal side of somebody's family. Yeah, like somebody's uh, father or, you know, like somebody's baby daddy, their father, something like that. Somebody right here, they've been doing something with graveyard dirt. I knew I felt it. I was waiting for that death card to come out. Yeah. So somebody here could have been trying to do some type of death magic. What's this behind there? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Or this is somebody that's paying somebody to do this shit. Somebody could go to jail, I'm telling you. These friends are not the, yo, whomever these people are friends. Your person's friends. So I'm going to tell y'all what I'm getting. Somebody could be a goddamn drug dealer right here. There is something in some goddamn pills or something that somebody is giving somebody. Because it feels like somebody is overindulging and there is overdose energy right here. Yeah, somebody talking about they done been to this person and they know this person reputable and everything else. No, this person done put something in that shit this time, y'all. I don't know who this is for, but somebody don't take them pills. Somebody here could be getting a goddamn phone call from jail. Somebody calling your ass collect. But I'm telling you, somebody right here, three of pentacles, seven of swords, eight of wands to the eight of swords, eight, eight right here. Somebody better listen because it's for their greater good. Somebody right here, their friends going to get them caught up in some shit. Because I don't know if somebody like, hey, come ride with me. Or, hey, can you take me here or whatever the fuck. But somebody right here, yeah, they better watch out because their friends going to get their asses caught up. If, they, if this could be past energy, if this past energy, you would think they would have learned by now. But somebody hasn't. Because it's, and then it's like... Something here, I'm telling you, somebody cheated and it's staying on their mind. They did it. Somebody lied to you. They cheated. It's staying on their mind. Somebody done rehearsed what the fuck it is that they're going to say. Yeah, so it's like a script right here. Somebody is letting their friends influence them to do a whole lot of dumb shit. Friends, family members, co-workers, whatever the fuck. They're, in, they're letting these people encourage them in the wrong goddamn way. And then somebody right here, this shit is playing the magician to the five of swords to the, to the uh, knight of pentacles. This is very well thought out. Whatever this is, this is thought out. Somebody is also telling somebody to meet us here. So somebody is inviting a third party here. Yeah. So this is either somebody's uh, parents, mother, father, somebody in their family, one of their friends that they call family, something like that. This person is trying to hook them up with somebody else. And unfortunately, some of them could have took the bait because somebody did cheat. It's fucking with their head. Somebody here is also doing magic or some shit on somebody to bring up old thoughts or whatever. Yeah. Because they know when this person gets to thinking about whatever this is, they distance themselves. And they're hoping that this person distance themselves from you to the point where you will be in your head thinking that this person is cheating. And this will be like an argument. We saw that five of ones that y'all will have or something and it will break y'all up. This is some weird ass energy. It's too many people out here not wanting to see y'all together for one reason or another. And that's just craziness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody is introducing somebody to somebody else, y'all. So this could even be just like somebody right here. 
they plan to just go out with them and, you know, possibly, you know, they friend or they, you know, somebody and then somebody else shows up there. And this is a piece of information that they're keeping from you. Yeah, so they won't lose you. Because somebody here, they're like um, even ch uh, talking to somebody else is cheating. This is somebody right here. I'm telling you, somebody could have paid somebody to come towards your person. Damn. Also, somebody noticed somebody lied on you. Somebody brought this person back some, a piece of information. This is another reason why this person could be staying away from you. Because somebody, they believed somebody. When somebody said something about you and it stayed on their mind. Yeah, this person right here, now they know that somebody lying. Yeah, somebody right here, I'm telling you. But it's like, I'm telling you, the only solution is for this person, your person or whomever, to cut these people out of their life. Because if not, I don't see y'all having a harmonious relationship at all. It's always going to be somebody in this person's ear or trying to do some snake shit you know, behind your back. And then your person don't want no conflict with nobody. So they're keeping information from you and things like that. It's just, it's crazy out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get the king of wands right here. Something has to do with somebody's job. Yeah, somebody here, I don't know if your person and then their friends work together or something like that. But somebody right here, they're trying to hook your person up with one of the co-workers. Yeah, we got Pisces energy right here, the hangman. And it's like, your person, seriously, I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you. Somebody is very sexually attracted to the other person. I heard a tall glass of wine earlier. So your person... They're really, like, attracted to this other person that somebody trying to hook them up with. So it's like they caught between a rock and a hard place. They have very uh, bad influences around them. Yeah, very bad. Somebody right here, it's like they stay after work or they hang around work or something like that in order to talk to somebody. So, yeah, somebody right here, they're not making good decisions at all. But you cannot just completely blame the people that they are around, although they are influences. Somebody right here, they also have a mind of their own, and they can do what they want to do. Yeah, King of Cups right here to the Hermit. Somebody right here, this is what I'm saying. They need to come out and tell somebody, look, I love this person. But instead, it's like this person kind of like try to keep their emotions to themselves. Even like right now, if y'all in separation, this person is stuck on you. It's like they watch you. Hell, for all I know, y'all could work together. But they watch you. But they're not saying anything. You feel, yeah, hermit mode. Yeah, the world card comes up in the reverse. They definitely feel lost without you. They regret whatever the heck it is that they did. They don't want to deal with... If they dealt with a third party, they don't want to deal with this person anymore. They only want you. Do you see them two cups right there? They don't want this situation to be over, but they're not sure if, it, if they ruined it. Either this is them cheating or this is like not standing up to these other people about, you know, always being in y'all business or something like that. This is also saying like somebody right here, they don't want the they don't tell the world how they feel about you. Yeah, with the hermit, they keep it to themselves. Hmm. Somebody right here also, they could be just as bad, you know what I'm talking about? Because they could act like, you know, if somebody really want to be with you, point blank, period. But it's like the people that they hang around, they got to impress them. So it's like, let's say, you know, you call them or text them or something like that when they out with their friends. They try to make it seem like, damn, you know, such and such, you know, always accusing me of this or, you know, being clingy or something like that. When in the whole, the whole time, it's like this is something that they want. 
So it's like somebody being fake as fuck. Yeah, the five of cups right here, they about to lose. They about to lose your ass, like seriously. They do not want to see you be single at all. Yeah, some of y'all, this could, it keep coming up. You know, I know some people probably tired of hearing it, but I got to call it. It could be same sex, don't have to be though. But yeah, love is love, so. Somebody is not giving this person good advice. They're giving this person, uh, it's like the perfect opportunity to lose the one that they really want to be with. Yeah. Somebody is purposely trying to uh, create blockages here. Yeah, Aquarius energy. Somebody knows that it's like this is really good for somebody. But it's just hard for somebody to accept that somebody is changing or, you know, something like that. It really pleases somebody to see whomever this person is indulge in their karmic side. This is really giving the energy of somebody don't feel too good about themselves. So they want their friends to feel just as bad as them. So they encourage their friends to do dumb shit. So they'll always be stuck in their head. You know what I'm talking about? Somebody needs to end this cycle, but for some reason, they're not doing it. Yeah, but they know that they have to They have to eventually if they don't want to lose you. I feel like that's something that somebody is going back and forth with themselves about as I give y'all this message. It's like somebody really feels like they're caught between a rock and a hard place when it comes to you and these family members or friends or whomever they are. Now, if this is somebody right here who um, they think that they finna date you and somebody else and you know, if that's too stressful for them, then they could just go on and get the hell up out your way because ain't nobody over here, no damn option. So, yeah. But all this other mess, with, and you know what? Some of y'all could just be tired of all this drama that these people, you know, are allowing their family members or friends or whomever this is to bring into y'all's connection. Because who the hell wants to deal with that all the time? Somebody trying to turn your person against you, making it seem like you're the op and things like that. Somebody around this person tries to make it seem like marriage is like a death sentence. So I don't know if this person that's doing this has been married before. You know, things didn't work out for them. Or, you know, this person right here, they're just like really non-committal, whatever the case may be. But somebody also needs to realize ask themselves why are these people still single because i'm hearing somebody could be around the ages of 38 so why are they still single somebody is very immature as well whomever these friends are one of them is very very loud they have to be seen this male figure that i'm seeing this is like a, a, a he's like a bigger dude low haircut but very, very loud. I don't know if this person right here, they have self-esteem problems that they're trying to mask or something. But it's like, it's unnecessary how loud it is. Or, you know, it could be a female. Just take the energy how it resonates. But I clearly see a male. Holy Spirit. What's the signs associated? We get an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Holy Spirit. Yeah, some of y'all persons or, you know, whatever you want to call them, these people, somebody wears a lot of shades. They have dreads. Yeah, it could be cold somewhere, but somebody right here, it's like they have on jeans, a tank top, and a coat. Somebody ain't never got no shirt on. They must think they real, real fine, but they'll put on like a beater or something. Yeah, but they, they ain't, yeah, somebody got a, always got a cap on their head. Even if they, you know, they got dreads, it's always a cap on their head. You know, we get Aries right here. It's also somebody about having some water. Somebody always has a bottle of water. It's a masculine energy that always has a bottle of water. Something significant about a red pair of shoes. It's a red pair of shoes. I don't know what's up with these shoes. Holy 
Pisces. Yeah, we get Pisces. I heard Nicholas and Penny. Somebody has a, a kid picture when they took it. It's like the kindergarten or like the first grade, whomever this masculine is. I'm seeing them like they have like a little afro cut. Somebody right here, it's like uh, when they were younger, it's like a two fell out. And one was like long and one was short right in the middle when they took these pictures. Holy Spirit. Yeah, we get Libra right here. Hmm. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what's the net? What's the sign is associated with this message? What's the sign? Holy Spirit, what's the sign? Thank you. Yeah, we get Capricorn here. Can I get two more things, Holy Spirit? Yeah, I get Aquarius. One more, please, Holy, Holy Spirit. One more, please, Holy Spirit. And I get fire with cancer on the bottom of the deck. So it could be any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And we also have Capricorn right here. So, yeah, fam, that's the message that I have for you. Hopefully, it gave you some type of clarity. If it did, y'all, please hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all. Personal readings are open as well as the memberships. Excuse me, y'all. My mouth draws here. But, yeah, if you're interested, all of that information can and will be found in the description box of the channel. It's always my pleasure, of course, fam. I thank y'all so, so much for allowing me to read for y'all. I'm sending you guys love and healing energy wherever y'all may be in this crazy-ass world. And we'll definitely get back up.